Yeah. Uh, when did you start pimping? How long you been pimping? Uh, since I've been about 16. 16? Yeah, early age. Right. Yeah. Why did you start pimping? What, what made you want to pimp? Well, nothing, just the type of environment I was around, you know, in Seattle, it, you know, really wasn't no gangs around there in 85, 86 when I started coming up. So it was like the environment, all the people that was having things and, you know, riding in big cars and wearing that big jewelry and all that fly shit, you know, they was pimping and all the little bitches worth having and that was doing things, you know, they was horn. So that's like everybody was wanting to get with that, you so know Seattle what I mean? So Seattle had a big, uh, big uh, pimp host? Scene? Yeah, yes, yeah, a lot of pimps come out the city. Oh, Ain't no man. question. Yeah, right. a lot of good hoes turn up out of there too. Prim Seattle. Yeah, primarily uh, WWs. Right. Yeah, uh, white uh, white women. White women. Yeah, predominantly. You know. Speaking of that, what, what, um, that's a very well. Seattle is a very interracial city, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They ain't really too biased as far as you you know mixing it like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Tell us what kind of women you pimp on. Uh, well, I'm liking what's liking me. Anything that's gonna come through the door with it, you know, I might fuck with if if, if the coast is clear. But now I like to have a, a, a white bitch. You know what I mean? Because right. that's the cliche go, they do let you pimp. Black bitch gonna make you pimp, right. you know, because she gonna have one of them old snapdragon mouths, one of loud talk, out talk, wrong talk a pimp, where Pecklewood just gonna be meek. You know, pimp can pimp with his hands in his pocket. Right. Ain't never got to raise your hand, you know what right. I mean? Just about out your mouth. Right. You know, and the bitch gonna come through your door with it. So, how many women you got right now? Uh, about two and a half, <laughs> you know. Yeah, about two and a half. I'm gonna tell the truth, shame the devil, you know what I mean? Because one right. bitch kinda on hold, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You got, and they're all white girls. Uh, no, I got a peck of wood, a black bitch, and a uh, Filipina right now. You now know, you, so I'm, I'm mixing it up right now. How you deal with all them personalities? Let's talk about that. I mean, do they all live in the same place with you? Uh, a couple of them, you know. It, it, you know, some hoes won't let you pimp. You know, on them real smooth if it's another bitch around. But now it's all about a pimp's discretion. So, you know, the hoe gonna do what I say. But now, yeah. if, if it's comfortable for them to have their own joints, you know, we'll do that. But now, if it's tight or if we own going somewhere else, you know, everybody all together now. You know, that's not a problem. Everybody doing the same thing for the same person. Yeah. How old are you? Uh, 27. 27, you guys are Yeah. So, so, so check it out. I mean, everybody's perception of, of, of a pimp is that you got three, four hoes, whatever. You, you're having like crazy monotonous every night. Everybody fucking everybody, licking pussies, that type of shit. What? Well, no, for one thing, I'm not going to eat no pussy. But now, for two <laughs> things, you know, like I said, it's a pimp's discretion. Now, you know, if it's a fine joint and, you know, the bitch been coming through the dough and been paying it, socking it to my pocket like a skyrocket, you know, I might hit that joint, you know, if I'm lacking on her. You know, I'm a man now. Right. But now, you know, I'm just not fucking everything that come through the dough. Right. Some fresh. I don't really know too much about the bitch. Bitch ain't hitting no clinic or nothing for a pimp. You know what I mean? I'm not going to run up in the bitch because the bitch probably ain't paid, you know, enough anyway. Right. Yeah. Tell, tell us about speaking to the clinic. I mean, you, how regularly these girls get checked up? Do you, is that your responsibility? Uh, no, it's, yeah, well, I make it my responsibility if I see the hoe ain't responsible enough, you know what I mean? Because that's why I'm pimping on her, because she can't think for herself. And if she ain't doing that, I might get the hoe in there, you know, every six months or something. Right. You know, see right. what's up with her, you know. You might take her, what, you might do whatever six months? Uh, take her on into the clinic, send her in there, let that hoe get on the phone and make an appointment and go see her about herself. Right. Yeah, right. you know. Yeah, well, let's bring it to another question I'm about to ask him. When you, when you, when you having sex with your women, did, did you practice what they call safe sex? Or oh, yeah, I'm putting on my Jimmy hat, man. Right. Yeah, that don't leave home without that one. You right. know what I mean? Right. So the, the women you're with, uh, the, your hoes, is there a love relationship there? What kind of relationship is it? Well, now, the bitch been beating my door down for a few years. You know, I'm going to love that dough. You know what I'm saying? But now, it's going to be a feeling there. You know, the bitch been reaching you for a while. You know what I'm saying? But right. it's not really no love, Jones. Because way before me and the bitch have a love connection, it's going to be a bad connection if there ain't no money involved. You know right. what I'm saying? It's a big right. difference between the fun part and the funds part. It ain't right. no fun if I ain't got no, you know, no money. So you know it's all about money then? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's initially what, what, what it stems from. I guess, you know I guess I mean? the, average, the average person would be asking, well, what about true love? You know, Bradley, what about true love? What about your, your soulmate getting married? What about that? Well, maybe later on in my life, but right now I'm asking for my rations. I don't have no time for that, so, you know, that's not even a part of the, this game that we're doing. You ever been in love, square kind of love? Uh, yeah, when I was younger in my life, you know what I mean? I probably had my little heart broke or something, you know, or, or, or something like that, but uh, probably, not really since I've been grown. You probably, not since. Yeah, yeah, I probably have, man. Yeah, I say we all have. But not since I've been grown, since I've been pimping, it ain't even been like that. You don't want to be like that. No, it's not going to get like that because then, you know, if I get the cross like that, it won't be about my money no more. And the bitch will feel like, you know, that my most of them feelings going to get in the way of her horn, and I can't have that. Well, most people be thinking right now, that's cold-blooded, Bradley. <laughs> no, that's not really cold. It all depends on who you are, you know right. what I mean? For the bitch, it's not cold-blooded if she fucking with you, you right. know? Right. Any bitch like you will give you anything you want. Right.
Well, let me ask you like a more upbeat question here. Okay. Uh, if there was any celebrity woman you could turn out, who would it be? Uh, I don't know, because sometimes it don't really be about the beauty of the bitch. It be about the duty of the bitch. Any old regular, you know, all-American, blue eyes, blonde hair, and dirty feet, peck of wood bitch at work. You know what I'm talking about? If she got a mind right, not really no celebrity. Pamela Anderson, yeah, blonde, big blonde. That'll get my oil, you know. I look at it for face value, for what it's worth, you know. Uh, 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 chop, chop, anything exotic, you know what I'm talking about? It'll really, really be cool. Well, break down, since you talk about chop, chop, break down all the... The slangs for all the uh, enemies. Well, well, like some, some uh, like Oriano, some from over there somewhere, you know what I mean? It's kind of rare, you know what I mean, to get one of them and flip it, and what you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Buddha hair, chop, chop. Uh, white girl? Well, no, that's a Chinese, Japanese. No, I'm, I'm going to go to online of all the girls. Tell me what Oh, uh, white girl? Yeah. Uh, shit, WW, white woman, pack of wood. Right. All American, right. almighty whitey. Black woman. Uh, black woman, duck, you know what I mean? Why Hammerhead. Meat cleaver, you know what I mean? They got a whole bunch of words for them low down dirty motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? But I fucks with them when they fuck with me, you why know the, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Why the black woman got the worst name though? They got the duck. Well, no, it's just, you know, Pip got to be, you know, ready and polished the Pip on the duck. You know, most pimps, you know what I mean? That's what they had in the beginning of their career, you know what I mean? And it kind of made you rough around the edges, you know what I mean? Foul you down, you know what I mean? Right. The Pip right. on the black bitch, right. that's cool. Right. And I have them now to this day. Got one now. A black woman. Ain't no question. Right. So you respect women? Uh, it depends. <laughs> if she respect herself. If she got some self-respect, I'm a respect her. You know what I mean? Right. right. Yeah, but if she cross my path and she's fucking with me, if it's a hoe, you know what I mean? I'm a respect this pippin. You right. know, and the bitch gonna have to respect that. Right. Yeah. What kind of childhood you have? Uh, good, pretty good upbringing. Pretty good in school. Always was in school. You know what I mean? Like that. Right. Finish school. And yeah, I finished high school. Right. And just start getting in trouble, you know. I was a few different other things before I got pimping. You know, when I was a child, I did all the burglarizing, stealing, all the normal shit. You know what I mean? Right. The right. motherfucker in the ghetto do. You know what I'm saying? But right. since I've been grown, they've been pimping. So, you know, right. that was my education now. So tell me, uh, you know, so you don't hear no stories from your girls about tricks? Uh, yeah, what's sometimes. The, what's the nastiest? Thing you heard? What's the most? They don't have to be nasty. What's the craziest wally, shit? Wally. Uh, craziest trick story. A bitch had to stick a vegetable carrot in a trick's ass. The bitch tell me this. I didn't witness this. The bitch stuck a long vegetable carrot right in the motherfucker's ass, and the bitch get five hundred for doing that. You know, and that's how that worked out. <laughs> yeah, I kind of found that was kind of comedy. You know, yeah, that's about the weirdest one. A carrot. A big vegetable carrot, thick, long one. The whole thing. <laughs> What makes a vegetable care different than a carrot? Man, what make a digger digger in here, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that was some strange shit. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Is a pimp just another job? And ain't, and ain't, it, do you look at it as the same thing? As the same thing as a regular job. And I pay my taxes. You pay taxes? Yeah, every time the bitch go to jail, every time the vice get my business and the hoe go to jail, you know what I mean? I got to bail the bitch out. I consider right. that my tax. So are you proud of your pimping? Ain't no question. Right. Right. Most you know, powerful thing in the universe right. to me. Right. Mm -hmm. But do you, do you liken it to anything else in society as far as other other like uh, other jobs that people have, you know what I'm saying? Is it is it the same to you as say a nine to five? Yeah. Yeah, I consider it is. Right. right. Yeah, I work. Tell us about <clears throat> You know, most men out there think that you gotta have a big dick, uh, really dicking down a bitch to, to turn her out. Yeah. To get it sprung on you. Is that true? No, that has no bearing on nothing that you do is pimping. No Sex ain't even the thing, the issue. You don't have to have no big dick. You just gotta have a big brain through here, through your mouth, you know what I mean? To be pimping on that hoe's head, it ain't no sexual thing at all. Right. I done had hoes for six months and never ran up in them. Right. Yeah. How long you plan on, on pimping? Uh, well, this is just a stepping stone, too, to do something else that I probably want to do in my life, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I got another good 10, 20 years strong on getting some out of bitches' ass. What do you want to do? You know, what yeah, you that's real. You uh, well, you know, I might do what you do, man. That'd be clever for me, man, to do something like what you do, man. Give me the plug, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'll figure it out. The next 10 years getting out of bitches' ass, that's going to give me plenty of time to figure it out. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah, and any bitch that might even see my face on this here can come on and fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right now.